you just slow down for a sec? I want to keep going. Yeah, I just want to stretch for a sec. I'm going to, I'll go, I'll come back for you. Holly, I just, I need to talk to you about the Vanessa case. Fine, after we finish our run. And after I pick out my dress for Gus's funeral, it will, the one that I'm sure Natalia hasn't even made arrangements for because she hasn't been here long. She doesn't even, she doesn't even know who to call. I need to talk I'm to gonna you. I'm going to call her. Because I don't think she knows what he would want, and I do, because, you know, we've talked about it a million times. We're both cops. Did you see Marina's face? She's so hurt still. Yeah. And I thought she was starting to heal. That's what Gus would want. I just think he would know how to... I can't breathe. Yes, you can. I'm here. I'm here. Just, just let go. Hold on to me. I just let I go. I think I might pass out. No, you won't. We've, we've, we've been here before. Just hold on to me and you'll be fine. I hate this! Harley, have I ever let you fall before? I'm here. Just Cyrus. Hold, hold on to me. Hold on to me. That's it. That's it. Don't let me go, okay? I actually really hate scotch. I can get you something else. Why didn't I just look for Gus the minute I lost him? You can't think like that. No, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, why didn't I just try to find him and tell him that he had a son? Because you know, I should have. I should have just. I should have tried. Wait, 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 wait. You, you, you don't want to do that, okay? is to move into the house that my husband bought for me with my husband. Natalia. Does, why does she get to live? And he had to die. I wish I, I wish I had a good answer to that question, I do. I have lived my entire life just trying to, to go along with God's plan and trying to be good and decent and trying to make amends for my own sins. What did I do wrong? You can't see this as a punishment from God. Oh, no? No. Then what the hell is it? Because I just finally got to marry the man that I have loved since I knew what love was. I finally got the home and the family that I always promised for my son. And now it's all gone. And Olivia is the only one who wins. Sorry. The nurse is on her way. Um, Gus is gone. And I, I, what is the game? What, what's, Olivia, there's no game. There's no jokes. Gus is gone. No, I, I, I need to see him. He needs to know that I, I survived, that I have this new heart beating inside of me. He knows, okay, he knows. No, he needs to know that I fought to live so that we could be together. I prayed for a miracle and God gave me a heart. No, Gus gave you a heart. What? You survived because of Gus. The heart beating inside you is Gus's. I'm so sorry to hear about Gus. How's everybody doing? They're uh, holding up. Good. I was actually uh, hoping that I could speak to, to Buzz. Oh, he uh, he actually took the boys to go see a movie. You know, kids, they help you forget. Yeah, they do. You know, I really do know what it's like to lose a close friend, somebody you think of as family. Gus was family. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm okay. Thank you. Good. Well, at least you don't have Cyrus to worry about anymore. What do you mean? It means I caught him in my room this afternoon red-handed. Stealing? 
No, worse than that. I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of company he and Harley have set up. I guess he, he sets up the crimes and she solves them. Well, did you inform the police? No, I didn't. I probably should have, but, you know, I was involved with him once. Once is more than enough. Well, don't need to worry about it. You just informed them. Is it always me? The question marks and places where the answer seems to be. Hi. Uh, I'm so sorry uh, about Gus. He was a good man. He was. He's the best. Thank you. Natalia. I know that you had to make the decision to allow Gus's heart to be taken, and it was a very brave thing to do. I don't feel very brave. Ava would love to see you, I mean, to thank you. The doctors are hopeful uh, you could see her. Olivia? She's awake. Uh, you could check in on her if you wanted to. No, I don't want to check in on her. Olivia has everything that my son and I lost. She's still critical, but she's stable. Oh, okay, good. I mean, well, I'll tell Bill I know he's worried about Emma. You know, the family's been there every minute. I saw Alan. He's completely devastated. I know. Beth said she's been checking on him, and she's really worried. Yeah, well, I'll call him. I mean, thanks for the update. You know, days like this are never easy for us, are they? No. Especially not for you and me. I think about her almost every day. So do I. Have coffee with me. Why not your new library card, huh? Uh, actually, it's for Zach and Jude. They're having some problems with a few subjects. I thought maybe I could help. This whole family thing's really working out for you, then. It's uh, pretty tough right now with Gus. The boys, they really loved him. You've really got your finger on the pulse of this family. Trying to do what I can. <laughs> Had to change my ways someday. Anyway, it was nice to see you. Is that your library card? Or did you steal it? Maybe from Vanessa Reardon's this afternoon? I had an interesting little chat with Vanessa today. Seems you haven't changed your ways all that much. I promise me you won't say anything to her. Why not? Why shouldn't I hire you in right now? Because this family's in mourning. And the last thing they need right now is dealing with my mess, especially Harley. Well, I'm a cop and you did just break the law. Yeah, this isn't about breaking the law. <laughs> okay. Fine. Dinner, you and me, next week. Maybe we can forget about this whole mess. <laughs> okay? See ya. Cyrus. 
like that book you got there? Math book? It's for sixth graders. Zach's not in sixth grade yet. Good luck! some time with Natalia. How is she? Well, she's trying. That's hard. How are you? I just can't believe any of this is happening. Josh, um, did she happen to mention anything about funeral plans? Uh, just in passing, yes. Wants to keep it small. She doesn't think she can handle the planning and the people. Well, these are all the people whose lives he touched. It's for them, you know, and he certainly deserves a service. I'm sure she'll figure something out. He should be honored. I agree. Well, I'll plan something. I'll call her, and we will figure something out, she and I. Uh, Harley. I think she needs some space right now. Well, Gus would want that. I know it. I don't want it. Shh. You just need to rest. I don't want to be alive if Gus is dead. I don't want his heart. Look, Mommy, I gave you a picture. Hello, Mr. Kane. I need to discuss with you purchasing a casket. Thank you for saying that. Gus Ituro. This is Mrs. Ituro. It's so beautiful, I think we should put it on the wall so Mommy can look at it every morning, first thing when she wakes up. Ava said you have a new heart. Yeah, that's true. You want to feel it? Okay, give me your hand. Very gentle. You have to be very gentle. Don't touch. It's okay. It's cool. Mommy's heart hurts just a little bit. Hey, you want some ice cream? I heard they have an ice cream sundae bar in the cafeteria. Is it okay, Mommy? Sure, sweetie, it's okay. As long as you don't eat too much and get a bellyache. Is that what your heart feels like, a bellyache? Yeah. Let's go get ice cream, honey, okay? We'll be right back. Coming up on Guiding Light, sponsored by Airwick. It's good to be 